okay uh, before we were lighting these uh, with the spark from uh, 12 volt I've got 11 volts in from the mains through this um, LED driver going into the uh, ZVS and then in through a Tesla uh, setup inside I've got uh, fibers coming out uh, as per uh, one of his patents for the Wardenclyffe uh, tower um, but <clears throat> what I want to show you is off this side we have uh, I'm taking it down through a copper um, connection after the toroid and then in through uh, one side of this uh, bulb is going through to the uh, earth that you can't see it through all this spaghetti and uh, you can see there is a huge difference um, in lighting and it's starting to light this so there's a lot of voltage here so stand by we'll turn her on from the mains get the spark going and you can see this is a lot better than uh, than we had before it's almost lighting this this bulb here And the sparks actually increased uh, in brightness. Interesting. Um, again, we're going in through the earth, and uh, we're coming back. But there's a lot more uh, power, um, as you can see. I'm going to have to turn the light off and do this. It's all about the mess. So we'll turn them on. This is without the spark. And I can get the spark going. Back seems to be fairly stable and it's actually melting these that's a lot of power there Don't know if you can see the size of that, it's like two, three centimeters. So, this is pretty good. We need to get this uh, spark sorted out, but as you can see, it's only 11.2 uh, volts DC. pretty good result just thought you should see that guys girls <laughs>